So back to what I was saying. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? This is Gus Mimbro, and today I'll be showing you guys how to make a Raspberry Pi into a motion detected security camera. And basically what it does is it's a 24 seven live stream on your network. And whenever it senses motion in the frame, it just takes a picture and saves it so you can review it. Go ahead and launch up your Raspberry Pi either using an SSH or just log into it directly and type in the commands in the description or listen right here. The first one is sudo apt-get update. This just updates all the drivers and software so it'll run to the newest stuff it's sped up here it could take up to an hour depending on what version you're using next you want to type in sudo apt-get install motion um, this installs the motion software that we'll be using to, to have the live stream run and capture our images Okay, once that's done, go ahead and type in cd slash etc slash motion. Once you're done with that, go ahead and type in sudo nano motion.conf. This is just opening the configuration file for the motion software. Go ahead and scroll down until you find stream underscore localhost and turn that to off because if you want to be able to see the live stream on your network without logging into the Pi directly, you need to turn that off. Good to uh, log out of that, just control X, Y, and then enter. Go ahead and type in ifconfig and get ready to type in your IP to a different laptop or phone on your network. Um, this is what we'll be using to view our live stream. Um, go ahead, mine is 192.168.0.15. Also, don't forget to add the port 8081 to the end of your IP address because that's the port that the motion stream runs on. So that, go ahead and reboot because you need to restart for the motion to pick up the new configuration file. Once you guys have started up your Raspberry Pi again, go ahead and type in sudo motion-n. This will launch the motion software. Um, the tack n adds the version so you can see what it's doing, so you can monitor how many pictures it's taking and how well it's working. Okay, as you guys can see, it's working on my network. My webcam is a very bad quality, so it's a very small picture, but it'll adjust automatically depending on the size you have. Also, the frame rate is very low because it's set on two by default, but you can also change that in the configuration file that we edited earlier. You guys can leave this running for as long as you want. Go ahead and check out the configuration file to edit your options and see what you can do with it. To stop motion, go ahead and press Control C, just like to stop any command. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.